It's a, a real, a real soul bond, I will say that. Wow, this reading has, has me tearing up a bit, I, but it's beautiful, it's beautiful, the, um, oh, damn, I didn't think I was gonna start crying, holy f <laughs> It's beautiful, the, the soul, the love that they, they have for you. It's beautiful. It's precious. They, they, de this person really loves you. Okay, you, you know, the world is there. You mean the world to this person. Okay, you two have a telepathic bond. Okay, you can never be really separated from each other. You're destined for each other. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome back to the channel. Starseed's Eyed here. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe and join the soul tribe we have a reading for you guys okay this is who you're dealing with okay the person that you're dealing with okay the energies between the two of you this could be somebody that you're speaking to or you're not currently speaking to okay but you have this energetic tie to this person right so it is a general reading because of this certain things may resonate certain things may not take what does leave what doesn't behind energies are interchangeable and timelines are shifting rapidly as we approach this 2022 Stargate portal. Because of this, I advise each and every one of you to read a disclaimer in the description box below. For those of you interested in a personal reading, you can check the link tree link in the description box. And with that out of the way, let's get started with your reading, Sagittarius. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, and ancient ancestors. What do you see for my Sagittarians? Who is the person that they're dealing with? What information can you give us? <clears throat> Excuse me. Truly grateful for all your messages. Thank you. Okay, we had two cards appear face up while shuffling. The moon. <clears throat> they're already trying to block my throat chakra. But we have the moon and the king of cups. And then at the bottom of the deck, I'm just going to cover this because I don't want to get flagged by YouTube. But we have the world. Okay, so here, let's, here, let me get set up. Let me, let me organize these cards and then we'll be back, back with the action. Oh, wow. Wow, look at this. Look at this. This is... Uh, quite the situation we have here. Very interesting. Okay, my lamps. Let's see. How can I? Okay, so my Sagittarius. The person that you're dealing with, they love you. Okay, I am going to say that. This person that you're dealing with, Sagittarius, they love you. Okay? Now, it feels to me like they're bridging the gap between the 3D and the 5D. It also feels to me like they're in this uh, social matrix. I get this energy that they're putting on a mask, okay? They're showing up as someone else, okay? It could be this person, it could be you. Honestly, I am going to be honest, it could be even you. Um, or it could be the both of you. I feel that there needs to be more honesty. And... If it's the both of you, because this does feel like a twin flame. And a lot of times, twin flames will mirror each other's energy. It's very possible that you were also, or you are, hiding aspects of yourself from this person. Um, it could be that they were doing that, or it could be that the both of you were doing that, okay? I, you know, I do call it how I see it on this channel. However, it's because there has been a delayed response to inner healing, okay? I do feel like, especially on this person's part, okay? I will say, on this person's part, I do feel that they didn't have, when it comes to their parents, they didn't really have a healthy role model to look up to in terms of relationships. Um, they could have went through a divorce, it feels to me like this person is really emotional, okay? They think about you a lot with the King of Cups and the 
Knight of Cups there, this person really does have feelings for you, Sagittarius. I will say that. Page of Pentacles and the Sun. It, you know, this person that you're looking at, they might be a Leo, okay? They might be a Leo or they might have a lot of Earth energy. They could be a Capricorn as well. Um, you really admire this person, what I get here. But you don't know if you can commit with them. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, okay? There, There is this energy here of like, will you guys commit? And I feel like one of you is a lot younger than the other, okay? I am getting this energy like, one of you is a lot younger than, than the other, okay? It could be you that's younger than them, or it could be them that's younger than you. Okay, I do get this energy that... Um, it's like, there's this energy of being intimidated. There's this energy of not being too sure how to approach the situation. I do get that the person you're dealing with, Sagittarius, was trying to not control the situation, but maybe trying to get things moving a little bit more faster than what you were comfortable with. Okay, I do see that. I do I do feel like they shocked you a little bit. Um I feel like you weren't expecting them to have feelings for you like that, especially so strongly. Um but I get that some of you are intuitive and you you feel the love that this person has for you. Okay, you feel their soul there in the in the 5D, okay, in the higher dimensions. You feel the love that they have for you. You know that they love you. Okay, you you also, I, I feel like some of you have actually fallen in love with this person as well. Um, but it's just like this friction. There also seems to be a lack of action, okay? Ace of Pentacles, it's like upright, we would be, you know, getting started on this. But with it in reverse, I feel like there, there hasn't been a start or it feels really, really slow, okay? And Page of Pentacles... It feels to me like this person is going to come forward, okay? They are going to approach you very soon, is what I'm seeing here with the Page of Pentacles. It's just they don't really know how to. They also don't know if you would want to commit and take this very, you know, in a serious manner. Um, but the moon is there. there. There's a lot of water here, okay? I do have to say that. A lot of emotions. Emotions are running high, I feel like you both sense each other's emotions. I feel like you both have, like, this telepathic bond, okay? This is only going to resonate for some of you, okay? But I do see here that you guys have a telepathic uh, bond. I'm getting the name Jamie, by the way. Christopher. I'm getting Nicholas as well. Um, I feel like you guys have a telepathic bond, like, um, something that is multidimensional, something that is from the higher realms, this soul connection, the spiritual connection, and it's almost like you guys can feel each other's emotions and stuff, even though you're not directly next to each other, even though you're far apart from each other physically, you can feel each other's emotions, you can feel each other's sadness and uh, heartbreak. It's a, a real a real soul bond, I will say that. Wow, this reading has has me tearing up a bit. I but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The um oh, damn, I didn't think I was gonna start crying. Holy fuck. <laughs> it's beautiful the the soul the love that they they have for you. It's beautiful. It's precious. They they de this person really loves you. Okay, you, you know, the world is there. You mean the world to this person. You brighten up their day. You really light them up. You make them feel better. You put a smile on their face, okay? They're really happy uh, when they see you. But I do get here that there's just been a lot of difficulty in communicating. I also feel like one of you was playing mind games, okay, I do see that's one of you, I feel like it's mainly them, but honestly, it could be, uh, you, some of you as well, some of you that are watching this, I feel like there was a little bit of 3D 
stuff happening here, lower vibrational stuff. Um, and I feel like you guys are just mirrors of each other. You just, you just match each other's energy so well. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, look at this, the Page of Pentacles twice. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like they're trying to approach the situation, okay? They're really infatuated with you, okay? We have the Knight of Wands. I feel like, you know, I get this energy because I was saying that they they could be a Leo. I feel like you're appearing, Sagittarius, as the King of Cups and the Page of Cups, but this person is appearing as the Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles twice, and then the Sun. I feel like you're both appearing in this reading. I have to say it. You're you're both appearing in this reading. You're appearing as the King of Cups and this Knight of Cups. So it's strange. I feel like um, one of you could make the move towards the other. We have the Two of Cups there. Yeah, this is a real Twin Flame connection. Somebody wants to pursue intimacy, though. I feel like it's this person. They really... Okay... This person really wants to pursue intimacy with you. And then with the Magician here, I feel like you guys have been manifesting this. You've both been uh, manifesting each other, it feels to me. But I feel like there has been... Um, one of you is dealing with a third-party situation, okay? Three of Swords and Seven of Wands. Um, which I feel like, for some of you, you know, the Hierophant is there as well. I just feel like one of you or the both of you is dealing with like expectations from family or friends um there is this energy here of uh, being pressured by people who have a bit more dominant personality okay there is this pressure of being something else okay i feel like it can go either way honestly because your energy is so alike and so similar i feel like one of you is dealing with this third party situation and with the strict parents or it's like a mix and match some of you are dealing with this some of you know this person is dealing with this okay your energies are so your energies are so similar to each other but it really feels to me like you're both going to fight to make this work okay with the seven of wands there you're both gonna fight you're both gonna hold your ground like you again this is only going to resonate for some of you like this is a really okay yeah some of you might have felt left out in the dark by this person or you might have left this person feeling out in the dark because i feel that there was a lack of action okay there was a lack of approach there was uh no honesty i feel like there there wasn't a real full truthful confession a confession excuse me of one's feelings okay the love that you have for each other and how to work through whatever the situation was okay how to work through your fears i feel that um this person is really trying to juggle how exactly to approach you how exactly to move forward okay but here we go we have the page of cups I feel like this is a third party situation. Either you, Sagittarius, you're dealing with this third party situation, or that person, um, you know, that you're you're looking at, you're dealing with, right? You're tied to energetically. I feel like they're dealing with a third party situation. It's one or the other. Okay, we have the two of pentacles there, so it, somebody really is juggling and and trying to like move forward trying to make a decision okay is what i see here the fool yeah somebody wants to break free somebody wants to break free and be themselves i feel like it's the both of you for the most of you i feel like it's the both of you and here we have three of cups your angels are celebrating because you guys are about to reunite. You guys are about to be together. It's like, who's making the move first? It really seems like this Leo, okay? Yeah, see, look. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. This is a happily ever after, okay? This is your person, Sagittarius. This is the one for you. 
the moon again, okay? A lot of emotions, uh, mysteries, right? I feel like somebody has uh, Pluto uh, in their birth chart, like when they were born, or, or I feel, excuse me, let me rephrase that. I feel that when, uh, you know, somebody here, when they were born, they had Pluto in Scorpio, which is a very, very sexual and intense energy. Um, I'm just saying, here we have that Knight of Wands again. It really feels like this person is about to approach. I, I will say, it, it's looking more and more like this person is about to approach you, okay? Sagittarius, I, I definitely see that. But some of you could be approaching as well. Okay, Eight of Swords, yeah. The world again. You can't make this up. We're having a lot of doubles reappearing here. The Ace of Wands and one final card, Spirit, Death and Rebirth. And at the bottom, you have Two of Cups. Yeah, this is a real twin flame, okay? This is a real soul connection, okay? You two have a telepathic bond, okay? You can never be really separated from each other. You're destined for each other, okay? You are each other's soulmates. Um, this is only going to resonate for some of you, okay? I am getting the name Patrick, by the way. Um, here, you know, the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups, it might seem like things start off like intimate and just like a friend with benefits sort of situation, but rest assured this person is looking for that long-term commitment, okay? They are looking at you, Sagittarius. They see you as the dream, okay? They see you as the person they would want to live the rest of their life with, okay? The Four of Pentacles is there, like they would not let go of you. Okay, there's this possessive energy, but it's in a loving way. It's in a protective way. Um, they want what's best for you, and they feel like they're really... It feels to me like leveling up and glowing up is what I'm hearing here, okay? They're really trying to offer you the best package, okay? They're really trying to be the best version of themselves for you. But I feel like they were stuck, okay? Okay. They were really terrified of this connection, okay, when they first met you or they first saw you. They were really scared, and um, it, it's almost like they had this uh, death of a part of their conscious and their subconscious mind. I feel like they never thought that they were going to fall in love. I will be honest. I feel like this person thought that they would never fall in love, but they did, and it was really, really scary it broke them out of this stale mindset that they were in, okay? The moon is here and the Ace of Wands. Um, the moon is here, appearing here twice. Now, before, you know, before the new moon, you will this reading will be available. So, for some of you, something could happen the new on the new moon. This is Thursday, November 4th or the 5th. Uh, I would just double check on that, but it is a new moon in Scorpio. And how interesting that this approach happens on this new moon, which is literally all about new beginnings, right? Um, but we have here the moon and Ace of Wands. Somebody is approaching someone. It's looking more and more like, I mean, you're both fire signs. That's the thing. Ace of Wands is fire. And you're both fire signs. But it looks to me like someone is is going to break the silence i feel like for a long time there wasn't silent uh there wasn't communication excuse me I feel like there was a huge fear of commitment i feel like for it was coming from some of you but i also feel like for some of you it was this person that was scared to commit okay i do get this energy of like a wounded inner child that could be the both of you okay that could very well be uh, stemming from religious abuse or even sexual abuse, okay? Uh, childhood trauma, okay? I am picking up this energy, um, a very emotional type energy um, where, you know, this the reason there was this death was because of the realization one of you or the both of you both had the same realization, but I'm going to talk about it after what you went through and the the trauma some of you went through you never thought you would be capable of loving someone in such a pure unconditional way or this person they that you know that was their mindset they never thought they would be able to love someone like that in that fashion and so 
it's almost like this connection, this coming together, it really heals you guys. It really nurtures and heals that wounded inner child. And, you know, if it's you or if it's them or if it's the both of you, it's like you're finally able to make peace with that situation and put it to rest and move forward in your life and um you know with new hope and new inspiration is what i'm saying here right because we do have the three of cups there so it is like a celebration of sorts okay and you know you have the world twice you have the world twice here again a lot of doubles how many doubles is that the world twice knight of wands twice the moon twice two of cups twice so four doubles so your uh, angel number is four 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 so i would suggest you look that up but also with the world you know we're seeing this woman rise up okay almost like a, in a resurrection right she's rising up it's the end of a cycle and it's almost like um being revived being renewed coming with a new beginning right and that's what we're seeing here is you're both going to rise up okay you're both going to be renewed after a period where things weren't so clear or it was foggy now everything's about to be made clear now everything is about to have light shed upon it and it's going to be much more easier to navigate it's going to be easier to be honest with each other about your feelings okay we do have the two of cups so your destiny is irresistible with this person okay but that is what i have for you sagittarius this was very beautiful um what do we have here queen of pentacles i just had to look queen of pentacles yeah want to be rooted sagittarius this person is watching you they've been watching you on the social media and you might have been watching them but yeah, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you love and light. Take care.